actually just put this on. I did my hair. Now I'm going to do my makeup. Um, and then later I'll show you what I'm wearing. It's something very, you know, casual for the house. Today the goal is to do my spring wardrobe swap removing all of the items from autumn and winter and, and then putting in all of the spring summer clothing that I already have. I think I mentioned to you I've been avoiding buying new new pieces of clothing just because I now have a subscription with Fashion Pass. Um, if you don't know what Fashion Pass is, I'll leave the link down below and if you want to try it out, make sure to check out my um, discount code because I do have a discount code and might as well get a better price. So um, I am now going to do my makeup. I have two new products that I went to Sephora the other day and I bought and I want to show you. One is this Dream Coat Hairspray, which I tried it out last night, but I feel like my hair is starting to fade away from the black. I originally have brown hair, so the black needs to be like maintained. I also have lots of grays. So once I do... Um, the hair dye and then I try this coat. I think you you'll see much more shine I did see a little bit more shine from this product, but I think once I have You know refreshed my black coat this will shine even more But for now, it's good. It didn't make my hair oily or anything and then the other item that I um, recently bought is this O uh, one size so the O is for one and the S is for size. Um, it's a new product on Sephora. This is the Secure the, Blow, the Blur Primer. And they have a new one that I, I also want to try out. It's the Secure the Sweat, which might be even better as a primer for the summer. Um, and they're, they're gone viral on TikTok. So it would be interesting to see how this goes. I think I mentioned to you on my last video that I've been using a NARS foundation. It's this one here. It's the Soft Matte Complete Foundation, which I love. But because I think of like how oily my skin is, the, the foundation has been coming apart after a couple hours, which is not ideal because... You know, sometimes you have to stay at least, I don't know, 12 hours with the foundation. And that's what my goal is. So I'm going to try this primer. I'll let you know at the end of the video if it lasted. And if it helped with um, with what I was struggling with. Because I was wearing the milk, found, the milk primer. And this is a grip primer. So it's supposed to really hold the foundation on your face, the makeup overall on your face, acting as like a magnet. Now, this is a similar primer. It's a magnet primer as well, but it's supposed to be like double blurring, which will be nice because as you can tell, I have really big pores. Um, I just hope that it does the trick. I'm also gonna try to put my fix, um, my fixer spray from MAC. It's called um, Fix It. Fixed tea, fixed. Um, it's prep and prime, so you can use it before and then you can use it after. I'll try to use it on this video to see if it also makes an impact. But yeah, let me try. Let me get a couple of things, and then we'll start. unfortunate because it was so beautiful the couple the last couple of days now it's all over I actually need to go and check on my onions and my asparagus I don't think my asparagus are doing well not as well as I thought it would at least but the onions I think we have problems so I need to go check it out give it a nice watering and 
hopefully, if it goes well and none of the birds and and wildlife that exists here, they hopefully didn't eat it all. Because my dream is to have my own ohta. And vegetable garden, which I know I need to do a lot of studying for, a lot of research. But that would be so much fun to be able to, you know, teach my daughter how to cultivate her own vegetables and go pick up the garden and create really nice, hearty, organic meals. It would just be overall a dream. And we do have space on our backyard to do that. So, though currently other things are a priority in terms of, you know, doing the backyard, we wanna make sure we have a space for Elena to play and things like that, but hopefully it will work out. Then I'm gonna put on the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. This. Here's the complete look. My flyaways are going crazy, but there you go. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing and then we'll start getting the wardrobe done. Here's the final look. I just steamed the skirt and it's already wrinkled. Um, it's a linen skirt, that's why. Um, you know, just it is what it is. It's the style of the fabric and I love linen. Perfect for um, summer and uh, spring and summer. I paired it with this uh, Zara bodysuit, which is so diverse. It's plain white, um, one shoulder, and it's just a casual little outfit. I also paired it with this Nine West slipper that I recently bought. Um, I like the like golden aspect of it. Let me see if I can come closer. Just um, overall very diverse and matches everything. And that's my goal now. It's not to have brand new clothes all the time. It's to have things that I can pair and swap and as diverse as possible. So I first need to grab a um, my spring clothing that are up here. Right there, it's a heavy box, I need to move it and bring it upstairs. <laughs> is to get all of your autumn and winter clothes out, put them on the bed. That way it's out of the way. You have free, you have hangers that are free for you to start putting away your clothes, but leave them on the bed instead of like automatically storing them because the, the potential of you having clothes that you want to donate or give away is quite, quite high. So I'll put them in the bed and then I'll sort through them, see what I want to donate what I no longer need, things like that. Um, and yeah, so hopefully the clothes I have here will fit in the acrylic that I currently have. I'm not sure because autumn and winter clothes tend to be a little bigger, but um, yeah, we'll try it out. I'll put you on a time lapse because I don't want to take too much time. So that way um, you kind of see the progress much faster. <laughs> A 
Okay, so here's the progress. Chunk of sweaters and jackets and beanies and um, scarves were removed. These are the only three I'm keeping on my closet for now, just in case it gets a little chilly or we go on a boat ride. This one's like my favorite for both right ride, boat rides um, or like early morning runs, things like that. Just three for now. Um, closet space is still quite tight. Um, my dream is to remove these gala dresses from here once we have the wardrobe downstairs. That's where it's going. But for now, I'll keep it there. Um, I think Pablo will want to move these like t-shirts, summer t-shirts this way. Um, I kept some of his long sleeves here so that um, in case it gets chilly out um, or like some of his uh, Burberry formal shirts in here. Um, just in case. And I started with dresses on this side and then shirts on that side. Um, my bags are still here. It's bags, sunglasses, belts. And then I'm going to put bikinis. And then like that's hats, visors, things like that, which will go in the bottom. So now my goal is to start getting these out, put them in the hangers and then see what I can what I can um, put it in there. done still need to find a place for these those are my shorts these are the items i'm giving away the items are already stored and this is how the closet looks as of now and yeah great progress and um now i'm gonna keep going with the day i need to have lunch haven't had lunch yet and i'll see you see you soon Guys, I thought I'll take you with me to check on the onions. I have the water so we can water the both of them, the onions and the asparagus. I'm not sure how well they're doing, but oh my god, here's the onion. One of them, one of them is coming up and then the other ones. Oh, here's another one. Can you see? Yay! I guess they're doing well now. The asparagus. I'm not so sure. Either way, let's give them a nice water. And the asparagus just in case. happy to see the onions doing well i hope it it progresses i'll keep you updated it's a beautiful day it's getting definitely it's getting um colder it's colder than last week but still it's it's quite nice i have no no jacket on so the leaves are coming in so good to have spring let me pop you here while I get my lunch ready. Um, I cooked a little bit extra pasta last night so that I could um, have it for lunch today. And then some um, pasta sauce with yummy, yummy um, meatballs. So good. Can't wait to have lunch. I'm going to put this shirt on just so I can have lunch and not get my clothing. Stained. And then I remove it and it's done. No stain happening here. There you go. Now, so. oh, 
Fenster. So good. I um, I made the pasta sauce with pre-made hot, uh, pre-made tomato sauce, onions, some Italian seasoning, and basil. My favorite. It's my TB12 protein powder. I'm so excited to to um, try it out because my other protein powder is has been done for a while and I haven't had any any shakes lately. So excited to try this out. It's a vegan protein. I'll be right back. The Tom Brady. If you don't know what TB12 is, it's the Tom Brady uh, brand. He started doing some of these protein powders and supplements, um, I think a couple years ago. And it's all about like vegan supplements, which I've never tried um, vegan protein powder before. So I think it'll be interesting to see how the, my body absorbs it. Here it is. This is the cookies and cream one, and it contains 24 grams of protein per scoop, which is a good amount, considering that I do not like those types of proteins where you have to add two to three scoops, it's insane. Um, one, gram of, one gram of sugar and 30 servings. So this should last me for about a month. Um, there's so many different types of um, amino acids in here. As you can see, look at the amount. All the alene, arginine, glycine, histidine, valine. There's all the enes you can possibly imagine. 140 calories per serving. There's calcium, iron, potassium. 2.5 grams of fat. And only 350 milligrams of um, sodium. I think this is a plant-based protein that is gluten-free and dairy-free, of course. Um, and I think it's derived from peas. So I'll try to like, let's see. It says, why peas are a great choice for plant-based protein? One, contains all essential amino acids. Two, help build and maintain lean muscle. Three, good for pre or post workout. Mix one level scoop into an eight ounce of non-dairy milk or water and add to your favorite smoothie. Or simply add to your favorite recipe and snacks. Can't wait to see how this makes me feel um, because th uh, what the research I did was that plant-based protein is supposed to leave you less bloated. Um, and it makes sense because if it's, um, if it's a whey protein derived from like cow uh, milk and in some ways you might be sensitive to dairy, you get bloated, things like that. So I can't wait to try this out. I'll let you know everything I think about it. Um, I think I still have the packaging of my last one here. I'll show you. So this is the one I used to take. It's the ISO 100. Love this protein. Look at the size and how many servings. 71 servings. 30 servings. This, same price as this. So this better be worth it. Otherwise, I'm going back right into this one. Um, and this one also contains amino acids. So we'll see. The only difference is that this is gluten-free and dairy-free and this one is not.
I just applied the um, Drunken Elephant Baby Facial. I don't know if you can see it. I have a layer. It needs to stay on for 20 minutes. I'll show you what it looks like. It's this one. Um, it's the TLC Sukari Baby Facial. Stays on for about 20 minutes. Then I wash it off. And then I am now going to sit by the sofa. Enjoy some Real Housewife of New Jersey. Have wine. And look at this little platter I made for myself. All for myself. Um, this is the Decoy, the Decoy um, Cabernet Sauvignon. My new wine glasses. And I'll just enjoy Friday night by the sofa. Binge watching a Real Housewife series. Um, if I don't see you again, um, I'll definitely see you next time. Bye.